I've been working here since probably about the end of June, beginning of July. I got the job kind of by chance. I was at Lulu's and I was talking to um, Jeff at, behind the bar and he mentioned that, um, that the bowling alley was looking for a new mechanic. Pretty much everyone who asks me where I work and I tell them I work in, in the back of a bowling alley, they say, oh, well, you just must hear the, the sound of the pins uh, getting struck all the time. When I'm sitting back here, the, the sound never really stops until it's the end of the night. That's when I tell, I mean, I don't even have to look at the clock. I can tell when it's time to get up and start closing by when the sound dies down. Each machine and each different uh, function of each machine has a different sound to it. And you get used to the rhythm and you can tell immediately when something's gone wrong. And after a while it just sort of fades into the background and then, you know, at some point I'll be sitting back here and all of a sudden I'll realize how deafening the racket is and it won't hit me at once again and then it'll just kind of fade away again. There is definitely, I mean it is a very physical job. Uh, you have to be pretty comfortable climbing around because you can't get to every part of the machine from the back. You have to get on top of it or get in front of it. And um, honestly, that's, it's one time at which I actually consider it a disadvantage to be kind of tall because it makes it more difficult for me to, to fit in between some of the small spaces in between the machines. There was a, a guy that worked here, he was also a maintenance mechanic, and I'm not sure when he passed away. Uh, I know that for a fact that he was still working here as recently as 1992. He actually died here in the back of the bowling alley, and he haunts the place. Some nights just everything breaks inexplicably, and we kind of blame it on him. He's not even the only one to have died here. There was a, a janitor who died in one of the restrooms. Um, there was a, a patron who passed away in the parking lot. And I think maybe even one other person, but I'm not sure. But Earl's the one who catches all the flack for problems around the bowling alley. And it's easy to pin it on him because he still has a kind of physical presence here. and. That is his broom, uh, which hangs in the back office uh, near the door. On the wall next to the broom is a message written in marker that says, don't screw with this broom or Earl will get you. And what's extra creepy about it is he wrote that on the wall before he died. I've had it from many sources that if you touch it or pick it up, everything will break. So honestly, I don't touch it. I don't even like to look at it. I open the door all the way so that it's back behind the office door. I don't even look at that thing. It's creepy. Once in a while I burn a little bit of sage underneath of it. I don't know if that helps or not, but I figure it's the thought that counts. He's around. He's Some things have happened here that I can't explain any other way then he must have done it. This is how they used to fix type of machines before we had good mechanics here. Mm -hmm. <laughs> it doesn't work.